Welcome back. Suzette Farr is here from the American Heart Association. It is no secret that it's hard to turn down the sweets during this time of the year, and that's why today we're talking about some simple strategies so that we can enjoy a healthier version of the holiday. So thank you so much for stopping by here Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, I feel like come January, we have those New Year's resolutions. Absolutely. But, I mean, it's a lot easier to stick to those if you start a little if bit earlier. If you start a little early and just keep it simple, you know? So yeah. um, this time of year, American Heart Association always has those five simple strategies to kind of have a healthier holiday, you know, better ease you into those January resolutions for sure. Yeah, so I hear you all have five simple strategies. Yes. Tell me what they are. All right, so strategy number one is get creative with swapping out. So you want to make sure that you're reducing sodium. And a good way to do that is swapping out salt for um, like other um, herbs and spices and things like that. So um, you wanna think using um, natural things like basil and oregano and just seasonings like that that kind of help you get the flavor you're looking for but get away from the salt. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I have family members that add the salt before even trying the food. Yes, Oh yes. my goodness, I'm like, that's, stop, stop, that's, what are you doing? That's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Yeah. So, so don't that, do that. Yeah, don't do that. So that is definitely one for sure. Um, step uh, strategy two is snack smart. So you don't want to go all day and just kind of stick to those three main meals. It is very good and well advised that you pick up some snacks and eat along the way so that you don't get super hungry and then you just run through the burger drive through line. So that is definitely um, that one. And thinking about having good mood foods to get you through the day. Yeah. Good food is good mood. That's mm -hmm. what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, and when people think about like good mood foods and what those could be, um, you want to think like veggies mm -hmm. and fruits, of course. Um, fish like or nuts, things with um, um, good omega-3s and things like that in them. And then, of course, this is everybody, this will be the one everybody likes, chocolate. And dark chocolate is good. Is good for you. Oh. And heart healthy because um, dark chocolate has antioxidants and those are good for the heart. There you go. Yeah. Sometimes you see those floating around online and yeah. you're like, is that a real thing? It's a real thing. We're hearing it it's from It's a real source. thing. It's from American Heart. All right, it's get a real some thing. chocolate. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, strategy number three is take your time, savor your food. So um, I know that people probably think that's a little strange to have, you know, mindfulness over food in the moment, but truly like taking your time as you're eating, get all all your bites in, drink a little water with it, like savor the flavor will actually help you consume less. Okay. Yeah. Two more. Yes. Two more. Er, Real quick. Yes. So use time saving technology. So things like picking up at the, um, you know, where you can do curbside to pick up and things mm -hmm. like that. It keeps you from having to go through the store yeah. and throwing things in your basket that you mm -hmm. don't need. Yes. And then the last one is practice gratitude. Having a heart of gratitude um, during this time will really help you kind of take in less. Sounds good. If people want to read more about these five very simple strategies or share them with a friend, where can they find it? You can go out to actually um, American Heart Association or heart.org slash Tyler and look for um, Eat Smart Month or Heart Healthy Tips. All right, Suzette, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back after this.